Okay, Jacob, your package has arrived, so I'm going to go ahead and get you unpacked and have a look at the watch you've sent. And we'll start our evaluation process. Okay. Wow. Nice. Nice. One of my favorites, of course. Zoom back out here. Okay, so this is, of course, a 6105 and it's the 8110 from May of 76. Cool. Cool. Very nice looking watch. Good loom. Condition is beautiful. All right, let's take a, a really close look and then we'll get it opened up, get some power in, and see where we're at. Okay, so let's have a close look here. Case is really nice, original, no no polishing, all the original brushing. Looks really good. Case back, of course, just has, you know, normal wear. You've got some, yeah, just scratching 40 year old watch. I mean, what do you expect? It is, it is uh, a worn watch, but not abused, which is nice. Very clean, perhaps even replacement, um, but original insert. This is as they should look. It's a little rough on the turns, and I noticed, I noticed just ever so slightly here where the where the ball is, where your click ball sits. There's a tiny touch of perhaps corrosion rust. It may be associated with your click ball, but it seems okay. I want to see if it pushes in and clicks. Yes. Okay. So that's good. That's a good sign. Um, Sometimes the, the balls themselves can actually corrode to the point of becoming rusty and uh, that means that we either have to remove it and replace it or uh, make sure it's in the right position. This is just loose because of the, um, uh, you have a gasket that sits inside of this bezel uh, that we're going to replace and lubricate and that should be just fine. So alignment is great. It's a little bit a little bit, but it's no, it's it's very good. Um, looks like an original crystal, at least a, a good Seiko crystal. Um, we can replace that if you care to have that done. Uh, you don't have your lock on your crown, so that's a bit of a job um, to do. We can always discuss that. Um, sometimes the pin breaks, which seems to be the case here. Okay, so that's that's one thing to keep in mind. That is that is no small no small task, but we can get there. Um, okay, let's see. Overall, loom is quite good. You've got a little bit of darkening here on your on your minute hand. Um, your your sweep and your hour hand look pretty good. It's got its own you know bit of of uh, perhaps. Thinking this might have been perhaps relumed. It's interesting because it's a bit puffy. On uh, it's just not clear. I, I don't. Hmm. It doesn't look. Doesn't look Seiko to me for some odd reason. 
Well, we'll have to look. We'll have to look more closely. Anyway, that's okay. It's it's it looks great. It looks great. I love these watches. All right, so a couple things to keep in mind. Of course, um, your crown. Um, let's go ahead and it is running, but let's go ahead and see if we can get the case back off and get some power put into the watch. Oh, case back's easy. That's a that's an easy one. Okay, so we can look together to see what the service, at least the identified service history might be. Nothing in the case back that looks like service history. Clean movement. It's a little haze, but not bad, not bad. You had some wobble in your Harbor. Oh yeah, that is that is worn. You can see that screw right there is maybe you can see that screw. I don't know if I bring the intensity down a little bit. You can see that that screw oscillates as I push here. That indicates barrel arbor wear, which is the thing we're going to try to overcome. I just want to take a quick look. At your post here yeah it's broken off it's broken but you know that's okay we can we can either replace it or just leave it it doesn't have to lock but you know it's one of those things that sometimes it's nice to have it that is a decision for you to make and to tell me whether or not you'd like to have it done okay so let's let's put some power directly into the mainspring see where we are. I can't tell how egregious the wear is in the barrel. I don't know without taking it apart whether or not the barrel or the, the ratchet wheel has worn itself into the main plate or the, uh, or the other components. So we'll have to see when we take it apart, but it's clearly in need of, of replace or of uh, a bushing in a, or I mean remove the bushing and replace it with a jewel and actually put a jewel into the main plate. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the status. As we put power in, let's have a look. Uh, I think as you can see here, definitely, I mean, this is a full wind power spike uh, status <laughs> and your amplitude's about 100 degrees too low and it will it will actually continue to, to go down a bit. Um, you're gaining a bunch of time, and your beat error is, of course, not where it's supposed to be. Um, these numbers, this one and this one, are, as I always say, are, are just adjustments. And hopefully there's enough adjustment to get all these numbers out. And I, I think there should be. This number here, and these will change with service as well, um, this number is the important one. This number tells us, is the power from the mainspring efficiently working its way through the movement? And like I said, it's dropping. There's always a bit of a power spike when you first wind a watch or you know put power into the mainspring, whether you you know do it manually like I just did, or you shake the watch and, and put it in as an automatic does. Um, but this is again, this is about 100 and, 110 to 120 degrees below where this watch should be. Uh, and that's that comes from bad lubrication, you know, a lack of lubrication, sticky old stuff that has gone into resin, uh, rather than staying lubricant-like. It is becoming a bit of a, a bit like, um, you know, uh, a bit more like plastic than like oil. Um, so that's that's problematic. But that's all service. That's what we're here to do is to bring that number into spec. Um, there could be wear in. Pivots. There could be issues, um, you know, that are underlying some of this. These are particularly susceptible because, frankly, they just weren't highly jeweled movements, and as a consequence, um, you know, they wear. They wear in ways that that we are um, perhaps, you know, going to have to deal with. Um, and you know, that's just where we are. That's that's the nature of these movements. They were they were cheap. 
they were um, low joule counts and so as a consequence sometimes pivots get worn and things happen so we will work to get that number better all right i'll come back to the bench okay jacob well we're going to um we're going to start the process as soon as i send this to you and i hear back we're going to decide what we'd like to do with the crown um lock of course that's you know something again you know, you still have a little bit of a post there. It will lock if you push it. And I'm, perhaps when I clean this, it will actually get a little bit better. Um, you know, it, it locks, but it's not, it's, not a, it's not a permanent thing. Now, of course, these are not dive watches anymore. These are more of a fashion item, um, I would say. You know, I, I would never take one into the water. And frankly, the, the warranty doesn't cover water intrusion. We are going to rebuild your crown, and we are going to put new seals everywhere. But it's one of those things where, you know, I never, I never guarantee against against water because you can never tell with one of these. Now the locking crown is there to stop it from, you know, moving while you're underwater. Um, now, it is locked actually right now, but it's not the the pin itself has been worn, so we can we can do that. It's it it's pretty intrusive. I have to drill a hole into your case and put a new pin in place. Um, that's something I can do and I have done it before. Um, but it's it's something, you know, it's time and, and materials. So it's it's a it's a value proposition. Do you want it to do you want it to lock um, or or don't you? So I'll let you decide and you can let me know. Otherwise, in for service, we'll get it we'll get it running right and um, I'm excited to get started. So I'll be in touch. All right. Thank you very much.